Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Mike McHugh, and today we're going to be talking about routing drums in contact within Reason. So I have a Reason session pulled up here that is blank except for the already routed drums within contact. I've put this session file as a free download in the description down below if you want to check it out and you can use it as a template as well, which I've done. And to do that, all you do is come up to File, scroll to New from Template, and then you can click Show Template Folder, which will open your Explorer that has all of the session files for the templates that are, are listed in this list here. So all you have to do is put the session file in the description into that folder and it will show up and you'll be able to use this as a template. So the first thing I want to talk about is why you would want to do this. And by default, like any instrument, when you drag in contact into the rack, it will create one mix channel for the entire instrument. And when using contact for drums, there are many different instruments going on and you do actually have some pretty good control over each of them depending on which type of kit you're using. So this is applicable to the Abbey Road drums and Studio Drummer, which I'm using today, which are all included in the complete bundle from Native Instruments. But only having one mix channel for an entire drum kit, even though you have this much control within that one mix channel, is not ideal when going into the mixing phase. So whether you're mixing with stems, you're moving your session to a new DAW for mixing, or you're sending your files off to another mix engineer to be processed, you would want to separate all the different kit elements into its own mix channel for more granular control. So in order to do this, I've set up two instances of contact, and the reason we are doing it this way is because Contact only has up to eight stereo outputs, and we are not going to be using the first one. And there are 12 elements or mics on this kit, so we will need two instances to get the full kit. If you haven't already done this, or you're setting this up yourself for the first time, you will want to come up to the Workspace Management button over here and look at your outputs and make sure that they are configured correctly. We will need eight stereo outputs on each of these. And you can do that by using the plus button here and adding the correct number of outputs. So once you have that set up, you can go ahead and hide your output window again, and we can begin routing within contact. So for Studio Drummer and any of these other drum kits, you begin by coming to the Mixer tab, selecting the first instrument in the kit, which in this case is the kick, and then clicking on Settings. And once you're on this window here, you can begin routing by coming over to the Channel section and selecting your output. By default, all of these are on Master, but we want to click on this and begin routing by selecting stereo 2 for the kick. We are skipping stereo 1 because by default that will still give you the entire kit in one mix channel. So once you have stereo 2 selected for your kick, we will follow suit with all of the other kit mics. So for snare, I have stereo 3 selected, for hi-hat stereo 4, tom 1, stereo 5, etc up to Tom 4, which is Stereo 8. And once you have that part set up, you do need to create another instance of contact, which I have here, and begin again. Starting with the tambourine, which is where I left off from the first one, I have that set to Stereo 2, woodblock is Stereo 3, and then overheads, room, and then a mono overhead, respectively. Once everything is set up in contact, you just need to create a mix channel for each mic in the kit and then connect the inputs and outputs. I already have them connected here, but you can see that when I drop the programmer, these correspond to the stereo outputs that we created in contact. This is stereo one, which like I mentioned, would give you the entire kit. Stereo two, stereo three, etc., all the way up to stereo eight. And 
So I have connected this optional audio out, which corresponds to stereo two within contact to the input of this mix channel and named it kick. And I've done that for every section of the kit. And you'll also notice on this very last one, the mono overhead, I've only connected the left or mono channel so that it remains mono. So that's basically it for the routing. There were just a few more things I wanted to show you guys to show why this might be useful. You'll notice that I have these two instances of contact within a combinator, which in the sequencer allows me to still have only one track here to arrange my drums while still having mixer channels for each of the kit elements. So I've created a short loop here, which I will bounce down to separate mixer channels. So arranged in the sequencer, this is what it sounds like. Very simple. And if I wanted to bounce each individual section, so that would be the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat to individual audio tracks, I would just come up to file, bounce mixer channels, and then I would select the mixer channels that I want to bounce. And now you'll see that my kick, snare, and hi-hat are all bounced out separately, which if I were moving to a different DAW or processing things individually, this would be very helpful. So I hope you guys found that useful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you right away. And, and, and as always, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.